Okay, so continues. So the shift uh, becomes very bigger and bigger. Okay, and uh, but the problem is, problem is like to show you. This number have us show some very important message. You can see here, uh, country pro, uh, company poor poor country is a uh, decrease. Uh, yes, uh, let's be already teach you uh, because uh, uh, we have a make us free a uh, very big strategy strategy alliance strategy alliance. We have a two N two N. We have the uh, we have the ocean lines. We share a lot the lines. Um, and uh, you know, twenty twenty five, the two end will be separate. So the uh, mask light, mask. Well, is this also will be separate with Hapaloy. What we become, we say. Um, Germany, right? Germanics, okay. So, uh, is uh, how about independent? How about another one? That means uh, we say the uh, MS sheet. And this you will be independent. Okay, maybe we'll collaborate with the gene, but I'm not sure. Okay, so. Uh, so how many is uh, this kind of uh, ship company only visiting the 10, 10, 10 ship company? How about the transport capacity account for 80% in words? 80% transport capacity in the world. Okay, it's occupied by this only 10 ship company. That's why, look, Shipping company, the number is decreasing, but the ship, big ship become very big. So, so it becomes a hinder. What's the hinder? It's not easy for a developed country to go through this, this kind of hinder, or, or what we say, a mistake, so far. Because big ship, very expensive, very, very expensive. Special what? For what? For developed country is not easy. Okay, even in the, for uh, India is not easy because because uh, all the work eighty percent is uh, you know just uh, controlled by the ten is so ten shipping company only. So if like Vietnam would like to uh, means uh, promote this kind of big shipping company is not easy because uh, you know. The, the ship, mega size ship, they are price very fancy. This size of ship is, is this, this price. 178 million US dollar for one ship on. So it's not easy. And also if you build up this kind of issue, you have joined the strategic alliance. It's also become another entering entrance barrier. So it's not easy for a developed country because how can you establish uh, the middle or small size shipping company? They can buy a lot of ship. They can join us. Okay, see so here is uh, uh, we say the uh, ship vessel tonnage number. Uh, here is a uh, uh, quite long, uh, very old. Or uh, you know, uh, it, this one is uh, show you some. Uh, location. This belongs to Trans Pacific. Trans -Pacific. But this number is too old because it represents 2014, quite a long time ago. So, in red color, red color represents the uh, first uh, shipping road from the uh, uh, from the Asia to the North Americas. We say Trans Pacific, Trans Pacific uh, shipping road. This one is from Asia to the, we say the European to North European. We say the far east uh, European shipping uh, road. This one is the uh, trans transatlantic shipping road. Okay, so, but right now they have a lot of place to be become very potential place. For example, South America, and uh, and also some. Um, 
some area, for example, to Australia, Australia, and because the Red Sea crisis so far, Moscow line have opened some uh, some terminal in the West Africa. For for West Africa, become another potential market will become a uh, future, and also including the uh, our Indian. Okay, so large ship here is, uh, you know, so you can see this uh, figure just showing the ship that it become bigger and bigger from the 20,000 to the 23, and right now it reached to the 24,000. What's the meaning of, uh, I mean, sir, uh, an advantage of mega size ship? Okay, I ask you one question, first one. So I ask you one question, what are the advantage of a mega size ship? Okay, so, uh, Thomas, I ask a question. Which at least this is one ship, right? Ten thousand. Okay, only anchor your port one time. So, how about your port charge, your port service, and steel building charge? How much one? One thousand ship because a ten vessel anchor anchor your port. What do you think of that? Port charge and port service and steel building charge. Which one would give more? Advantage to this uh, or benefit to this port. Which one? Because big ship doesn't mean you make more big discount, right? Okay. But you know, every kind want this vessel to anchor its port, right? Even small port, you have to to assign a lot of steel dolling company to maybe at least less than ten people to handle loading and loading their cargo, right? For example. For example, 10 people, okay, 10 worker, okay, 10 worker, right? So, 10 vessel. So, they create a lot of job. 100. How this one? It's automatic. Almost 10. Right? So, when you see this, uh, when you consider this, we're talking about this business, you, you have from different point, from different point. So same, which one will create more job for this port? Which one? The smaller one. Smaller one. You can hire more people. Okay, yeah, welcome. Very big ship. Very still like very old. My 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 pocket give a service this kind of big ship, but I can make a little bit money only. Compare this before. Same. In the Sunday, I know the North Pole can enter four thousand container container ship right now. But in, in the future, 10,000 container ship can anchor the North Port, but a lot of North Small Port disappear. Yeah. So how about your worker? Maybe lost more job, right? Because if you give service to the big ship, you have, you have, you know, you have buy the, you know, very expensive Genji crane. <laughs> you have buy the Henry equipment. But smaller company will disappear because the capital is not insufficient, right? Yes, they have some advantage. Just mean it's economic or scary. Yes, because uh, they can transport only one time. Transport this kind of ten thousand cargo only one time, so they can uh, easy to reach to the economic scale. So, and uh, okay, so. The stock for is very famous uh, maritime economic professor. He say, economic of scale as say is the greatest advantage of a mega size container vessel. How about of course uh, you know because uh, shipping is an intense intensively capital cost account city person is of operating cost. So operating including the bunker charge port charge. Okay, if only to use this kind of big ship, they can save a lot of money because operating costs are down. Okay, because, okay, they can save a lot of, you know, the, I mean, the container box will be, the price will be discount. Okay, how about fuel cost? Yes, also they can save fuel cost. Fuel cost. Because uh, just like a small ship transport for 10 times, okay, so, you know, they can. First one, first one. If I I uh, feel dealer, if you can buy a lot, of course I'll give you discount, ten percent, twenty percent. 
But if it belongs to a small ship, okay, I know this count for you. So for a big ship, you can make a big, big discount, get a benefit from the, I mean, sir, the, the, I mean, sir, oil buy purchase dealer of business. Okay, so I'll continue because uh, you know all the, uh, you know, all the big ship, they are crew name member of the ship. Maybe twenty or twenty eight. So that's my that's me. The ship more bigger, their crew member almost same. That's mean their salary the same. Okay? The sea fell salary the same. Totally. Okay. And also uh, and also for example sometimes you maintain maintain this uh, ship, we have go to a uh, dry dock, right? You also on uh, the because the uh, dry docks the, the ship is very big, okay, so dry dock their charge also very small because more benefit of the scale. And uh, okay, so his benefit of mega size ship first one capacity, yes, yeah, more big capacity, transport more cargo. Transport time, yeah, faster in speed and same transport time, okay? Loading efficiency, yes, you can buy also because it gives service this kind of big shit. You have uh, to buy more high operating efficiency to handle this kind of big ship. Okay, how about cost and price for course? The more, more cheaper. Construction, the same. Small size ship and big ship, the construction procedure is the similar, right? Okay, uh, this also chart to show you why the, 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 the big ship, their cost is down. Okay, this side is a vessel cost per tube. Per tube, that means uh, this one is uh, ship size. This one is uh, the cost. Okay. Oh. The vessel cost per tube is more cheaper. Okay, if, if you miss constructors, including construction charge and expense and so on, more big ship, they, they will cost it down. But because of the big ship, just a major about TIPC, he mentioned in more big ship, use a more bigger tapo, <laughs> sorry, your port charge is up. So how about uh, this one plus this one? Is equal to this total cost. The total cost, yes, if you locate in here, is more deeper, it likes to be very cheaper. And then we return back to very higher. Oh, because what? Entry cost, probably. Because this ship, the anchor, anchor in place is a bit expensive. How about disadvantage? Yes, they have some disadvantage. First one, yes. Sometimes you cannot guarantee you have you have sufficient cargo. Why? Okay, your vessel very big, just like you open the door, open the shop, right? Over the shop, sometimes you cannot keep uh, you know your customer or occupying your shop. For example, Sunday holiday is fine. How about Monday, Tuesday? Maybe no people. <laughs> so how can you guarantee? No, you cannot guarantee. That's mean. Sometimes you can have sufficient cargo, but even if you don't have a sufficient cargo, but you you know you belong to you know container ship, we have continue to give service. Stop, different stuff, different stuff. Okay, we check rest.